My name is Heidi Campbell Schof. I am the museum director and chief curator of the DAR Museum. And we're in the gallery today taking a look at our new exhibition, Remembering the American Revolution, 1776 to 1890. So in the first section, we have uh, some subsections. And this subsection we call reminders of war. So these are things that uh, Revolutionary War soldiers uh, owned or created and, uh, or, or carried during the war. And one of my favorite items is this wallet. Um, men and women carried wallets like this during the 18th century to keep uh, paperwork as well as money um, all together in their pockets. This wallet was owned by Corporal Christopher Ketley of Pennsylvania. It was probably made by a female family member for him. And uh, it is very colorful, as was the, the, the custom and popularity at the time, the fashion at the time. Um, but it was saved um, by his family. And inside of it, uh, it includes his oath of allegiance. So it, he signed it in um, 1778. It's a, a piece of paper that some people carried with them, um, others did not, but uh, it, it, during this time period, you, you wanted to be able to kind of identify yourself as either a friend or a foe. No exhibition about the American Revolution could be had, uh, we don't think, without some discussion of Washington. Uh, George Washington was a universally liked individual, um, very unique, I think, in American history. I'm sure he had his detractors, but we don't hear a lot about that. Uh, but we do hear about his exploits. Of course, he's a hero, he's the father of the country, and we have objects that relate to him specifically. Uh, one of the very interesting things um, items that uh, we have is a life mask of, of Washington here. And it was um, created, of course, by um, Udon, uh, the original being at Mount Vernon. Uh, but uh, this life mask was created in the 1830s by um, what, who we believe is uh, Auguste Lenzi who was advertising at the time in Philadelphia that he had had the, the um, the mold from Udon and who was making plaster uh, busts. And uh, this is one of the busts made from Washington's life mask. Um, this one was made for the, art of, um, the artist Emmanuel Lutz, who painted the famous Washington Crossing the Delaware painting in the 19th century. So it has a really interesting art connection to the revolution, um, as, as well as you, know, you are looking at what Washington actually looked like, because the, the life mask was taken from his face. Primarily, what we see here are items that have been saved. They, they were saved all the way from the Re American Revolution, but also they were saved from the 19th century uh, because of some connection, either the imagery or perhaps the connection to a relative that was uh, to, to the American Revolution. But th the act of saving is, is another message that we like people to come away with. We're happy to have these uh, objects here and that the, the, the Daughters of the American Revolution has created this museum to, in fact, save these things and also share these things.